Hello everybody, welcome to Kelvin's Coin TV. My name is Ross and this is Blood Omen Legacy of Cain. We're headed northward, so let's go. Still don't have any... Oh my god. Please. Please. <laughs> That's a dark oven. Something about a coven. Let's go. I think this is Mortanius's lair, isn't it? Okay. A tower stood in the distance. From its apex spewed the vortex of energy that shaped the lands below. Okay. Energy garden is here. Thanks. Cave. Uh, okay. Never mind then. Something tells me the fire sword is not going to do any good here. It did all right. Perhaps the uh, regular iron sword would be better. You know what? Screw it. Let's just go. That's not the entrance of the tower. This is. The surface of the castle belied its interior, for it was far larger inside than out. With the powers the circle had at its disposal, it would have been simple to distort space to accommodate this strange structure. Doesn't kill them. Oh, great, I'm poisoned. Great. Good, good, excellent, excellent. Uh, these things almost undoubtedly. Hurt me, huh? Whether I'm in mist form or not. That's why would they put them here? They can't hit me as long as I stay right here. <laughs> Freaking great. Oh.
Okay. I hear you, bud. Some days, you know. Got it, dude. The sorcerer's sanctuary, his laboratory. Inside was all manner of items arcane, pickled bodies, dissected corpses, both man and beast, and metal construct that heaved arcs of energy into the air. I sensed more than one force being manipulated in this place. Strange. Rarely did a sorcerer condescend to work with others. Yeah, there's more than one guardian here, I'm pretty sure. We are so far behind on guardians, we've only still only restored one pillar. Ouch. with the Praptor's head. All right. No. Yeah. What the shit? Wow, that thing took a lot of damage. Funneling me down a specific path, and I don't like it. Ow, out, son of a bitch. Hey, look, some more meatballs. Hey. relatively straightforward so far. Oh, that door is still closed. There's the door in the middle. Alrighty. Let's go left. Really running low on these things. Could really cool it. Ouch.
Ah, oh, God, come on. I didn't know where it went. Shit. Oh my god, are you serious, Kane? Oh my god, I'm blowing it. There's no door down here, why is this one... What, what, what am I hitting? Missed, okay, maybe. Armor? How convenient. This armor, wrought with the blood of noblemen, drains the blood from my enemies for me, leaving me to focus on the slaughter at hand. I like Flesh that. armor. Flesh armor sounds disgusting. Everybody says, so the answer might be obvious, but you level up to increase the size of your health bar, right? We find a specific fountain. When we drink from it, it gives us more life. There's one way I haven't gone yet. Oh, hey, look. Just a bunch of items. I can dig that. I want to try going this way. We'll see what this is. Oh, Jesus. Okay. It is a spell worthy of the necromancer himself. This allows me to dissect a creature's soul from its vessel of flesh. For these poor wretches, only oblivion awaits. I don't know what that means. Let's find out. Ready to get magic points back, maybe? I don't know. Oh. 
Let me try and get the other item. It takes a lot of magic. But it is very powerful. I'm gonna switch over to uh not any of these. But for spells, what I want to do is I want to switch back to this guy instead of stun, because everything that here is poison energy anyway. Energy bolt. Energy bolt, that's what it's called. Strong enough at all. Oh, great, I'm poisoned. That takes some life for me when I do that, too. I have plenty of antitoxin. Here's some more. Ready. All right, we got all the items. We're winning. It's through here. Oh, a save point. Excellent. What horrible things await me beyond her? Ah, not one, but three. Dejul the Energist, Bane the Druid, and Anacroth the Alchemist. How considerate of them to hasten my search. So the scourge of the circle has arrived. Fear him not, Bane. He is but a whelp. His soul is ours for the taking. Don't be ridiculous, Malak, to our aid. Ooh. Damn you, alchemist. I had not come this far only to have my quarry escape. Vengeance for my eternity of suffering. Welp! As if you knew what eternity was. Grovel before your true master! Never. I'll hack you from crotch to gizzard and feed what's left to your brides. As Vorador clashed against Malik, I gave pursuit to the fleeing wizards, the Jewel and Bane. I danced their dance. When the time came, they would dance upon my sword. His magic is weak! He is an affront to nature itself! It is our duty to purify him! Thank you, bastard. Um, okay. I don't know how to beat this. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Alright, that wasn't it, apparently. I danced their dance. When the time came, they would dance upon my sword. His magic is weak! <laughs> He is an affront to nature itself! It is our duty to purify him! Shit. 
Crap. He's right there. Hit him. Yeah, just smash the crap out of them. Once he goes down, she was really easy. The antler headdress had broken in the fight, but power still resided in its ivory form. Okay, I want to go get that. I have to get my uh, magic points back. akin to lead, heavy and malleable, woven into fine links. The energy she controlled was stored in this garment. Oh, righty then. Oh, Malik went down. I found Malik's helmet amongst the scattered remnants of his armor, whole and intact. Vorador had finally laid his old adversary to rest. The helmet of Mallet I placed before the Pillar of Conflict. The Pillar accepted its offering. Thus, it was restored. The act had taken on the feel of ritual. Isn't it strange how we must bribe our gods to stay? At the foot of the Energy Pillar, I set the cloak of De Joule. The Pillar accepted its offering. Thus, it was restored. The antler headdress of the Druid Bane I lay before the Nature Pillar. The Pillar accepted its offering. Thus, it was restored. You must seek Azimuth the Planar at the heart of Avernus. Three instruments await you to aid you in your quest. But first, you must rise, and you must fall, and find your salvation in between. Fall. Oh, right. Kill three birds with one stone. We got Malik. We got De Jewel, and we got Bane all in one go with a little bit of help from Vorador. Thank you for watching uh, Kelvin's Coin TV. My name is Ross. This has been Blood Omen Legacy of Cain. Next episode, we're going to go to Avernus. See you then. Bye.